So let's dive into the latest breaking news when it comes to Kyle Richards' husband, Mauricio Umansky. As you may or may not know, he is currently being sued in a $32 million real estate scheme. But before we dive into the latest news, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. So this is according to Reality Blurb. It says, Judge blasts Mauricio Umansky over $32 million real estate scheme as alleged text about the transaction is revealed. Amid claims that the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is lucky to be alive after the shady deal. So Mauricio Umansky may be seeing success in the ballroom with his Dancing with the Stars partner and and rumored flame Emma Slater, but off screen, he's entangled in illegal drama. So as you guys know, there has always been cheating allegations between Mauricio Umansky and Kyle Richards. Mauricio has been tied to Kendra Wilkinson. He's been tied to Dorit Kimsley, who is Kyle's best, one of Kyle's best friends and also co-star on the show. And there's been so many cheating allegations. Mauricio and Emma have recently come out and denied the cheating allegations, which of course they would. I don't think that they would admit to that. But as we know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And mid his separation from a strange wife, Kyle Richards, the real housewife of Beverly Hills star, who also appears on Netflix's Buying Beverly Hills, has found himself getting reprimanded by a judge as he attempts to evade punishment over the sell of a $32 million mansion, which previously belonged to the son of a vicious African dictator. Okay, so... The both people on both sides are, I'll just say, allegedly pretty shady, fraudulent, and horrible. So as we know, Mauricio Umansky, he has been sued multiple times. His agency has been sued multiple times for fraud. It's also very shady how Mauricio started his agency in the first place, going against his brother-in-law, um, Rick Hilton, sort of went behind his back, stole investors, stole agents, stole clients. So he started his business in a shady way, and then he continued his business in a shady way. And this is just one of many lawsuits against him. But then on the flip side of that, the person that he schemed is the son of, you know, like the article said, a vicious African dictator who has been known to persecute and torture his uh, public, you know, the the people living in, in the African countries that he's overseeing. So the real victims are those people. And unfortunately, you know, we have these famous rich people you know, whether it's the African politicians or whether it's, you know, Mauricio Umansky fighting over millions and millions of dollars when the true victims are the people under his dictatorship who have been tortured. But let's keep going. Okay. As Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans may recall, Mauricio was sued for $35 million in 2019 over the sale of the home after it was alleged that he and his business partner, business partner, also named Mauricio, ignored offers from potential sellers, including a $40 million bid in an effort to obtain the property for themselves and later sold it for a massive $37 million profit. So basically what they did was the son of the African dictator came to them and said, hey, I'm in some trouble I have to, you know, sell this property because I have to pay restitution for the crimes that I, that me and my family have committed. We need to sell this mansion. And what Mauricio and his business partners did said, okay, we'll sell your mansion for you. But they lowballed him. They ended up ignoring um, offers for more money. And then without disclosing to the, to their client, the seller, they ended up buying his mansion for a very low price. And then they took the mansion and they flipped it for a $37, for a $37 million profit, which is fraud and is illegal because as his real estate agent, he's supposed to look out for his client. He has the fiduciary duty to show him 
all of the offers, which he did not do, and to disclose that the person buying his property was essentially him. So he bought his client's property without disclosing it so he could then flip it for all of this money. So that's the essence of the fraud scheme. Prior to the sale, Mauricio had been contracted by the federal government to sell the seized home of Teodoro, the son of the president of Equatorial Guinea, who was known as the torturer in chief after he was accused of stealing government money. So that's what I meant by the real victims are the people that, you know, this African dictator tortured you know, and stealing money from the government. Those are the real victims. You know, we have these two people fighting over $37 million here or there when their real victims are out there, right? It's almost, think about it like this. It's like, it's like Erica Jane fighting to keep the, you know, million dollar earrings. You know, two people are fighting over the million dollar earrings when the real victims are the orphans and the burn victims and the widows and all of the clients that he stole from. It's 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 analogous to that. It's like there are real victims out here that aren't going to see any of this money that these people who are committing all of this fraud are fighting over. You see? OK, but let's keep going. After being prosecuted, Teodoro agreed to sell the home and use $10 million of the profit to pay a Justice Department fine and donate the remaining funds to charitable organizations in his home country. Again, because the real victims are the people in his country that were being tortured and stolen from. After Mauricio came on as a realtor and allegedly failed to present all offers... It was revealed on October 4th that the reality star was playing with fire as Teodoro's father allegedly eats the testicles of his enemies after skinning them alive. That was a quote. That wasn't me. Yikes. The outlet went on to say that he's ruled since 1979 and established a much feared reputation for vanishing his opponents and noted a report from the UK's Mirror, which said the dictator believes eating the testicles of his enemies will enhance his sexual prowess as he supposedly eats his victims' brains. I don't know if this is some type of African fo flo folklore they're putting onto this man that he eats brains and testicles, or if this is actually true. I don't know. Anyway... According to the report, private text messages that realtor Aitin Seagal sent to the prospective mansion buyer, Sam Hakim, in 2017, after Mauricio and his partner sold the home for profit, prove their alleged scam. Quote, and this is what's on the screen. We could have flipped it for 20 more without even a facelift, Aitin told Sam in a 2017 text. If the seller thought that Mauricio was truly helping them as their agent, I do not find that to be a wise choice. The seller is the seller is not kosher and Mo, and Mauricio could be playing with fire. Top 10 most dangerous people in the world. So basically what the text is saying is that Mauricio scammed his client, but it was very dangerous for him to do that because the client you know, this dictate, the dictate, the African dictator's son and the African dictator are very dangerous people. So basically they're saying Mauricio scammed the wrong person. Although Mauricio has attempted to have this case thrown out, stating that the statute of limitation to file the claim expired, the plaintiffs insist their text messages prove his guilt Meanwhile, another report from Raider Online on October 20th shared that Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Mark H. Epstein was not happy with Mauricio at a recent court hearing after he was allegedly caught making dishonest claims. Amid the hearing, Mauricio told the judge that his text messages disappeared when he got a new phone as Sam said their text chats didn't exist. Then the co-plaintiff turned over the missing messages. 
In response, the judge said that there would be hell to pay if they continued the, quote, gamesmanship. Quote, Given the fact that each party has now made representations to the court that the court has found to be misleading and potentially deliberately so, the parties might want to think a long time before bringing more discovery motions, the judge stated. Rather, they ought to just obey the statutes regarding discovery and turn over the information as the law requires. The rule they ought to follow is that if they are thinking about whether they need to turn it over, They do. The court is tired of what appears to be gamesmanships by both sides. In addition to wanting the suit thrown out, Mauricio is also requesting that Sam be hit with a $1.2 million fine for wasting his time. Meanwhile, as the judge held off on making any moves, Mauricio was told to turn over this forensic report that verifies the alleged disappearance of his text. Umansky obviously cannot produce that, which is no longer in his position, custody, or control, the judge added. Wow. So basically, Mauricio is being sued for very shady real estate dealings, what the deal is. On top of that, there is a separation between him and Kyle. On top of that, there's all the cheating allegations. I think... A big part of maybe why Kyle wants to separate from Mauricio. Yes, maybe because of the cheating stuff. Yes, maybe they've grown apart. But I think a big part of it is also financial. If Mauricio is found guilty, that is a $35 million judgment against him and his company and his co-conspirators. A lot of couples, when one person is facing debt or a lawsuit or something of that effect, will separate or divorce in order to protect their assets and in order to protect the assets of the other spouse. So this whole separation thing, maybe it's not for ratings, but maybe it's to protect their money and to protect Kyle from having to pay out a potential $35 million judgment. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. Do you think Mauricio and his um, partner really were being shady and doing fraud? Do you think that he's cheating with his Dancing with the Stars partner? Do you think Kyle is really, really in a lesbian relationship with Morgan Wade? Do you think their separation is real? Or do you think it's fake because they don't want to, because they want to protect their money and their assets? Put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share.